Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to join three orders list into a task list. This is a very common scenario that people order stuff within a company and that somebody has to handle those orders in one way or another. And of course, you could use different lists for different things, but you can also join the orders into one list for handling, and that would be a regular tasks list. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be creating three workflows that create task items uh, that can be handled from orders within these order lists. So let's get started on that. I'll open SharePoint Designer. I'll create a new list workflow that's connected to the computers list. And for this, I could actually use both the 2013 and the 2010, but I'll do the 2013 for this, for no particular reason. New computer. And of course, I'm going to go to the end. And I'll start this workflow when a new item is created. I'll continue editing the workflow, and the action I want to do here is create a new list item. That's among the list actions. Create list item. And I'm going to create the item in the tasks list. And of course, I'm going to set some of the values of that. So the content type ID is task. The title, I'm going to modify that. And of course, that's mandatory. And that's where we see this little star there. I'm going to build up a string. New, put in the lookup there, new computer type, type of computer, that's what we called the column there, four. And then we'll put the current item, the username there, the user of the computer, like that. All right. So that's that. So we have the title filled out in a nice way so that people can see what's going on. And then we can get the full details. Now it's almost exactly the same, but let's um, do that anyway. So I'll add another one. I'll do description and then build up a description. So this is a HTML. You can't really see that it's HTML, but you can use HTML codes in here. So we're going we're gonna to do that to make nice uh, row breaks. So first of all, it's the uh, name of the person, call that user, and I'm going to add both the name of the person, so the display name, and then a space, and then the email address of the person. That should be useful also. And then the type of computer, and here is where we want to get the line break in. And we'll do that in HTML, so we're going to do a BR element like that. That's going to translate to a line break in HTML, of course. Type of computer, and then we'll do that. And another break. And then the comments. Then we publish all this and go back to the site and uh, order a new computer. And I'll order one for Antonio. And Antonio needs a desktop. That should be with a good graphics card. All right, so let's uh, save that. And of course, this is uh, now created in the computers list, but we'll also get an item in the handling list. So we could actually ignore those lists altogether or just have them for backup and statistics. Let's go into the handling list. So let's refresh and see what happens. There we go, new desktop for Antonio. We'll open that. And there we go, user Antonio, type of computer desktop, comment with a good graphics card, and of course you see the line break there. So that works just fine, and then of course you can continue working on this task as you normally would in SharePoint. So let's move on with the workflow. So let's create another workflow. And you cannot copy workflows, because now I'm of course going to do the same, almost exactly the same thing for the flowers and the tables. 
You can't uh, copy the whole workflow, but you can definitely copy actions or groups of actions from within one. So I'm going to create a new list workflow and show you how that works. So we're going to continue with the flowers. Same thing there. So we always, of course, when we do a 2013 workflow, we go to the end. And of course, we need to set the start options here when an item is created. And then I'm going to copy this action here. That will save me quite a few clicks. So I'm going to copy that action and paste it in here. Go. So create item and tasks, that's fine. Um, so I'm just going to modify this now because this is connected to another list. Of course, I'll have different fields. The content type is fine. The title is not fine. I'm going to just modify this bit. Actually, let's change the whole thing there. We'll have the type of flowers. And then we'll just put the recipient there. So the same kind of idea, of course, so that the task will be filled out with the details needed. And then we'll just add the description. Same kind of deal there. Modify that. Recipient. And we'll remove that and we'll keep the break, of course, because we want to break there also. And then I'll just go do the recipient name. Phone number. And we didn't have a comment there. So we're done with that. We're done with that. Okay. And then we simply publish that and do the same thing for the tables. And that concludes my demo. Thank you for watching.